The American chestnut was once one of the most important trees in the eastern U.S. It provided food and habitat for everything from bees to bears. And for people, it was used as an annual nut crop and a straight-grained, rot-resistant wood. In some areas, farmers realized more income from the sale of chestnuts than all other farm products. Then, in the late 1800s, a fungal blight entered the U.S. through the Port of New York on imported Asian chestnut trees. And over the next 50 years, it killed over 3 billion American chestnut trees and significantly changed the lives of people and wildlife. After a century of unsuccessful attempts to fight the blight, researchers from the American Chestnut Research and Restoration Project discovered a simple solution with the help of biotechnology. Here's how it works. The chestnut blight fungus colonizes wounds in the tree and then produces oxalic acid, a toxin that kills the tree's cells. The fungus, which eats the dead tissue, spreads and forms cankers that eventually girdle the tree. Circulation is cut off and everything above the canker dies. Other plant pathogens also use oxalic acid to attack their host plants, so many plant species have evolved a mechanism to protect themselves from this acid. One such defense gene produces an enzyme called oxalate oxidase, which removes the acid without harming the pathogen. This gene is used by many plants, including wheat, bananas, and strawberries. We have been able to make blight-tolerant American chestnut trees by transferring an oxalate oxidase gene from wheat into the chestnut's genome. This enzyme protects the tree from the acid by transforming it into harmless compounds. By removing the weapon of the fungus, the tree and the fungus can now coexist. Because it is a very small change, and the American chestnut tree retains all of its original genes, the tree is still fully adapted to its habitat. Our blight-tolerant American chestnut trees can potentially be used to rescue the remnant population of American chestnuts currently surviving mainly as stump sprouts. Pending federal approval, the blight-tolerant trees can be outcrossed to these surviving mother trees. Continued outcrossing could produce a diverse and blight-tolerant population fully adapted to our forests. Just as the blight originally spread outward from New York State, so can its remedy, the blight-tolerant American chestnut trees. With help from our collaborators, the American Chestnut Foundation, and others, we can extend the restoration efforts throughout the American chestnut's range to help restore this magnificent tree and improve the health of our eastern forests. To learn more about ESF, American Chestnut Research and Restoration Project, please visit www.esf.edu slash chestnut. If you want to help with the restoration, join your local state chapter of the American Chestnut Foundation at www.acf.org.